Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. They they hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, they put 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatih Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a chop. is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. Groupers are capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey.
A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. If you enjoy traveling at six knots, being liberally splashed by seawater, then the sailboat is the ideal vessel for you. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Reaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. may emit a sudden scent of fear that can embolden a hungry shark.
While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good weapon, I know. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. This my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh, 
Oh, looky here. She's on for me. Hello. <laughs> Are you mama in there? Oh, well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You'll never want to turn off the gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey.
I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. And let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Exercise caution as she renews her attack.
Shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
Someone should have taken a gun safety class. The gulf is home to many creatures, great and small. The bull shark's liver is large and tedious to haul around on land. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodan of the bayou. But Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodan was. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision-making.
The predator is vulnerable outside of her liquid element. Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Fish are bottom feeders, so in eating them, sharks consume quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things.
The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call.
Underneath the shark's skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. A peculiar biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water. shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutrition.
The shark's life expectancy is at half, which is a shame, as we're all hoping for a second season. sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. <laughs> 